Hey guys, it's Tape the Grape, and I'm just going to get some Burger King for me and my mom. Um, it's like midday, I'd say. I don't know. I just woke up recently, and that's why my hair's messy. I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get some Burger King, and we'll see what else we do um, today. Not too much, but we'll see. Boy, am I thankful my mom's car has working AC, because it's a hot one today. Well, I'm in line now. It's my turn, but I got a little coupon. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my mom, because if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be getting no Burger King, because I'm broke. <laughs> and here is my beautiful midday breakfast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty good, though. Last night, I also had a pretty dang good fire, as you can see. It's, it's afternoon, and it's still smoking real good. I haven't touched it at all. I got, in fact, I got a little clip of it, um... Yeah, I got a little clip of it. Um, I'll, you'll see it right after this, I mean to say. Big ass fire. Hell yeah. And all you do is just throw the excess wood that fell off the pieces you were burning last night, throw it back in, and sure enough, fire starts up again. Oh yeah. And now we're going out running again. Oh yeah. Now we're at Walmart. As you can see, they're redoing the... Uh, the um, parking lot in sections, but we're still able to get in from over here, so that's good. Now, as you can see, I've got my coin jar here, well, milk jug, but I got about $30 in it. I'm gonna put it in the Queen Star machine and see how much they'll give me, because I need every penny. Because um, I'm saving up for something nice, and if we get it by two weeks, I'm gonna be super excited to show you. So, long story short, that Walmart's Coin Star machine was full, so I have to go to another Coin Star machine. But in the meantime, gotta get some stuff at Dollar General. Well, one thing, I should say. Trash bags, oh yeah. And now to get some gas, because it's floating on E. Oh yeah. Now let's hope this Walmart's Coin Star machine's working. Um, well, I guess we'll see. All right, I wanted to record me putting the coins in, but there was actually someone waiting behind me and I didn't want to make it seem like I was taking a million years, so. Um, but anyway, I got $30 and some odd cents from my coins. I've used to have more. I actually made a video a long time ago having uh, like $50 worth of coins, but nonetheless, again, like I said, that money's going towards something nice that hopefully me and my fiance are gonna be buying in two weeks. And again, if we do, uh, you'll de I'll definitely be excited to show you guys, but uh, nothing's for certain, but you'll know in two weeks if I do or not. But anyway, let's go home now. Alright, I'm home now, but uh, one thing I've been meaning to show on YouTube, anyway, this is my basement. This is not what exactly what I'm showing you, but uh, the, this side of the basement... All the electrical stuff does not work anymore. It's been like that for a while, so when you try and flip the switch, nothing comes on. For that room too, nothing comes on. But over here, everything's just fine. So this house was built in 51, so that makes it, I believe if I did my math right, 71 years old or... I could be wrong, 72, I don't remember. But anyway, 70-something along those lines years old. And the wiring, again, it's shot. As you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Every time the washing machine works, um, or is like spinning, it's on right now. The light's kind of dim. So you know the electrical wires are pretty bad in this house. But, you know, is that a fire hazard? Probably. But I got something else to show you. All right, now here in the fuse box... You got like the old style fuses and whatnot. If you look over here, now I don't know if this is accurate, but the it shows that the most recent time that this uh, um, thing this thing got serviced or um, checked was in 1978. The what does it say? Wiring per notice. Yep, inspection. So it's probably hasn't been inspected since 1978. So you know these wires are messed up and old. But anyway. All right, so you know I drive my Lumina everywhere, and of course I take my dogs with me everywhere, pretty much. And we don't have dog seat belts, so we came up with the next best thing. See these chains? Some would agree, some would disagree, say chains are bad, but I'll show you how it works exactly before you 
before you complain. So we've got these little things. If you're not familiar with these, they basically twist them and they unscrew in a little, you see the shape of it. Got it around the seat belts. We've got a little ring attached to it and two chains per side, so four in total. We've got short chains where I'm actually gonna have to shorten them. We've got these and you loosen those up as you can see. They untwist, it's kind of hard for me now. There we go. They untwist and open up like. But anyway, that way the dogs, if we were to get into an accident, again, we have to shorten them because they're too long now, but they will, you know, and it's not with a, it'll be attached to their harness, not their neck, not their collar, because that would be horrible. But their harness, that way, you know, it gives them support on their chest, kind of like a, you know, a, um, a race car seat belt, I guess. But I will show you what it looks like in one second. Now, as you can see, I've got Joji attached to the chain. Again, I'm going to shorten the chain because there's too much slack in it. Attached to his harness, there would be three other doggies when we're fully loaded. And that way, when we get into an accident, you know, they, you know, they get, um, what's it called? They get restrained right here instead of them just being loose throughout the car and like fly through the windshield. Good boy, Joji. I won't keep him in here long, but, but that's what I wanted to show you. And I still got to shorten the chains, as I've said, like six times now. But oh yeah, me and my fiance came up with this. A lot better than just having them wander throughout the car while we're driving loosely. But anyway. So this was just a little vlog on the things that I did today and the things that I wanted to show you. Um, the electrical wires, the dog seat belts. But anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.